Hey guys, welcome back to Max TV Original. In today's video, we're going to be looking inside one of the Grass Valley Indigo One AV mixer. This is a mixer that is equipped with uh, uh, six motorized faders. It's got SDI, S video component inputs and outputs. It's got plenty of audio inputs and outputs. Uh, it's got uh, DVI and uh, HD SDI card optional, which I do have. Uh, I've got two of those mixers, and one of them I've uh, refurbed before. Uh, the second one I've just got, and uh, we're going to be looking inside uh, how it works, and uh, the reason I'll be pulling it apart is just for cleaning and maintenance. So we'll have a look at the constructions, and those are mixers that are used professionally in the television. Well, they used to be, they're probably upgraded by now. So let's uh, flip it upside down and get to it. So I've removed all the screws. This is not going to be an easy video because the mixer is big and um, I have to do it on the floor. So I've removed all the screws around the perimeter and those two compartments. So in this compartment, it's just a fan, really easily serviceable. So you remove two screws and pop it out, disconnect it, and there's a fan. Also, it's uh, they've done it so you can easily remove it by twisting it. It's probably going to be a bit hard to do. And you can easily access the fence. There is no screws. It's filthy. So that's going to go into washing. There's also a battery inside that can be accessed uh, to change for the BIOS. In the second compartment, we've got a power supply unit. So this one is a bit more tricky to remove. Again, there's a fan connector. And we have a power connectors. Actually, this one's easier than the other mixer, so I'll disconnect it. All right, so I've disconnected the power supply. It looks like it's a pretty much a PC power supply. Filthy dirty, same system with the fan, just twist off and clean. That's gonna go into cleaning as well. Uh, the compartment with the power supply is insulated and there's a little metal bracket that you have to get out to get the cables. There you go, lost one of the... And those plastics go usually on the side here to make sure it doesn't cut the cable. So that's it. Now the top lid can be removed. I've already unscrewed it, so let's get that off. And that's the back lid of the mixer off. Oh, it's filthy dirty inside. So that's that battery. Those two fans are for the ex expansion card with a, with a high resolution expansion card, which I have removed. Um, I will show it to you in a second. So that's the audio board. Now we want to get to the front as well. So I'm going to unscrew those screws and flip the mixer upside down. I also decided to remove the soundboard just to show you what's underneath. And trust me, there is not much underneath. Let me show you. So that's the soundboard. And once you remove it, there is not much under there. Lots of dirt here, which I'm going to clean. Uh, so that's the expansion slot card. That's the um, digital audio board. So I've already removed the screw, so let's flip it around and center everything so nothing gets on and remove the top. So the top is connected to the main board with a um, ribbon cable, which we will unplug. There we go. So here we have, I'll start with the LCD monitor because I will have to take it out to clean it. So four screws are holding this uh, monitor in place. Once we remove them, the whole unit comes out. And as you can see, it's just a touch screen attached to LCD panel. That's the touch screen. Funny enough, they actually, that's your touch screen. That's your um, pick that they're using to drive the touch screen. A power supply module and uh, that's your um, LVDS processors that goes to the that's TTL to the screen itself and your high voltage for the CCFL2 so that's your screen so we'll put that aside that's just an audio jack for the headphones I'll put that aside for cleaning and now we'll have the main panel so I am going to remove the button side because I do want to clean everything. That's your motorized faders. I will do a separate video on the motorized faders, how I clean them. 
So I'm just going to unscrew this and take the board up. Okay, so I have uh, popped the control board out. So we're just going to lift it up. And here it is. This is just a control board with all the buttons and... Oh, that was a screw. Uh, with all the buttons and controls. So that's your T-bar fader. It's just a port. This is actually very interesting. That's your joystick. Uh, as you can see, it's moving. The interesting thing about that, it's not your typical resistive joystick. It's actually magnetic. So as you can see, I'll try to get it closer to the camera. If you see there's a magnet inside, it looks like a half of moon that's moving. The same way for lateral and um, vertical and horizontal positions. So it's all magnetic. It's got the whole sensors inside. So that's your motorized fader section, which I will unplug and show you. Because I will have to clean them anyway. So this is your uh, motor drivers, which are um, L622SPD. Those are driving uh, two motors each. Those are caps. Uh, that's your levels. They're just SMD um, LEDs on the board here. Uh, what else we got here? Just the dual color buttons, red uh, and white. A few pots. USB port and joystick. So that's that's it for this board. The next board we're going to have a look. Well, it's not really a board, but that's the array of the motorized faders. So you can see the motors on the back here. And the faders themselves. I'll do the video separately on that. We've got the main processor board here. That's our operating system on the CF Flash. It is Linux based. Uh, that's your video board for the LCD. And that's about it. That's analog devices cheap. Those are all um, chips for the S video and analog and uh, SDI. I think that's, that's it about this mixer. Let's flip it on the other side and have a look again. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so I'm gonna clean it up and put it back together. So now we've seen what's inside uh, Indigo One Grass Valley mixer. As you can see, the mixer is now fully functional, together, cleaned up. There was a lot of dirt inside. All the channels are working fine, so there's no problem anywhere. So yeah. So that's it, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this little curious uh, tour through the insides of the Grass Valley Indigo One Mixer. My name is Max, I'll see you next time, bye!